Boom. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, hopefully everybody's back now. And we are going right into game number four on Tau Cross. It's going to be Oxerg versus Kashu. Now, Oxerg obviously is going to be Zerg. Uh, well, I guess not obviously, since, you know, some silly players like to name themselves the wrong race. But Kashu, Kashu is a random player uh, slash race picker. So I actually don't know what race he's going to be. Let's find out here. Looks like in the top right position as the teal... Uh, sorry, is the orange Zerg. We do have Oxer. Oh, look at that. He's orange already. Perfect. Although I do have to change the number there. Oh, looks like some chatting going on. Uh, I guess game just hosted it up for them. And he has left. Good. So anyone who is about to complain of cheating. Uh, well, you guess uh, you can't anymore. Ah, uh -huh, you cannot any longer. And good. So he's going to be top left. I'm going to call this a 1 o'clock position. Meanwhile, Kashu looks like he's going to be Terran. Now, once again, uh, I don't know if he actually randomed this or he race picked. I'm tempted to say he race picked it, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, let me change the overlay to match. He is going to be the Terran in the 5 o'clock position here on Tau Cross. Oops, I forgot to change his color. Uh, color, color, color. Perfect. So, um, Kashu, Kashu, his TVZ. I don't know how many of you guys watched ISL. You should actually all. Go watch ISL. This is uh, this is on the front page of TL. Whoever's asking, we are calendared because TL is awesome. Thank you so much. Anyway, um, Kashu played amazing TVZs uh, in the early stages of the ISL two, uh, most notably against Whistler. He two owed Whistler, I believe, in the round of 64, and played uh, an insane game on Icarus. I believe that was game two. You guys should all go check that out uh, for some epic battle cruiser TVZ action. On this map, he's making like the weirdest wall ever. Like, if he may build a depot here, that'll be a tight wall that defends absolutely nothing because it's not at a choke point. <laughs> I have no idea what this placement is about. It's like Overlord going in the wrong direction. Uh, and of course, Oxerk, the well-known uh, Zergling user. <laughs> he's not from Peru, though. He's not from Peru, but he is. He is a Zergling user. I'm just gonna say. Uh, looks like gas going down for Kashu, so he will be going for some kind of mech play. I believe, uh, I believe Game actually told me like Kashu pretty much always goes for mech in, in TVZ, never goes for standard bio. Um, anyway, looks like uh, some SCV on drone action. He really wants it. It's got one hit left. Can he get it? It's running around. Uh, uh, and he has to dodge the other one. Interesting shenanigans. Meanwhile, uh, Oxer looks like he's going for some kind of 2 hatch build. He's got his gas already. And... Man! Kashu's SCV is vicious! Oh my god, it's only got one hit left on it, though. So, you know, it can't really do anything anymore. But that is that is a vicious, vicious SCV. Now, the drone for, uh, for Oxer is going to get in here and see what's up. And by get in here, I mean it's not, because there's a marine there. So that's uh, that's gonna be that, and the factory has gone down. And this is quite risky. Uh, usually, when Terran goes for mech, they want a Ling type wall off. Uh, most notably on a map, say like Destination, you can make a nice Ling type wall at your front. And oh, it's like Drone does take care of that. Uh, and then you can go mech quite safely behind it. But ah, he has built a depot here now. Uh, I am not actually 100% sure if this is Ling tight but I actually should have saw this coming. Actually quite an obvious move. <laughs> uh, I know I know a pylon here is not link tight, but I think a depot here actually is. I think this is actually link tight. So uh, very smart play by Kashu. Of course, he's not going to finish that. He can cancel that later um, to let his units out. Just going to leave that there to defend against these early links. I think it's a good move because, you know, as I said, Oxerg man, he's well known for making a lot of links and, and winning games with them. Apparently he's also like a professional bowler or something, which is awesome. But you know, it's like random, but it's awesome. <laughs> uh, I guess I guess bowlers have good ling micro, maybe. I don't know. One factory is out. One SCV is not idle. I thought that was idle. That SCV is idle. And we don't see anything else being built, so it might just be a one vulture expand, uh, or I guess I should say a one factory expand. 
And looks like the Lings, well yeah, they can't really do anything. They actually only made four of them. And they're all gonna die to this vulture. Well, they should. Uh, and he should be getting a sunken. Looks like he is. He's actually, oh no, it's a spire. He's gotta be, he might need a second sunken though, because obviously the vultures can actually just run over here to the side and stop these drones from mining gas, and that'll be really annoying for uh, for Oxerk. I mean, he might just use Lings to deal with that, but he's gotta be a little bit careful here. I mean, this positioning, on the other hand, it, it, it kind of stops the run by, so that's good. Uh, but you see, now the Vulture is going to the side, it's going to see the Spire. Now, there's not enough space, though, to, vo uh, to Vulture Micro against these Lings. And, yep, he will kill it, but the Marines actually came along. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but they're actually all going to die to these Lings now. I think that must have been a mistake. He should send out the second Vulture to go save them. It uh, looks like he's actually just going to target down some of these Lings. By the way, notice how all the Marines targeted uh, the Lings, like, together. That, that was some nice uh, micro there. I think he actually just shift-clicked attack uh, on all those Lings. Just to do as much damage as possible, since he knew he was going to lose those Marines. That's a very nice little little move right there, a little subtle move. And he's going to patrol micro uh, the Lings down. Spire has finished, and looks like Larvas are saved up for six Mutas. Uh, looks like he's only able to make five, though. Just not quite enough minerals, now he can make a sixth one. Uh, I think he's looking at his lings though, so he's not making it. He should make it. Ah, uh, he should make it. Oxer. Oh, he gets the vulture though. That's a mistake from uh, from Kashu. And Kashu actually has no defense now. He has gone to two factories. He's getting his armor. He does have his engineering bay up. Uh, looks like the lings just gonna be annoying here. Two marines should be okay. Yep, looks like they are. Uh, nice bit of micro there. By the way, this overlord uh, sent to the top left of the map on purpose. That will be used later on to help stack these mutas. And, well, let's see how much uh, damage he can do. I mean, in general, mech builds are, are pretty good against uh, against Muta builds because Goliaths, they have insane range. But against a 2 inch Muta, obviously, the or as we can see, the Goliaths are not up in time, nor are the turrets. So, uh, Oxer can actually do some nice damage here. He's getting a decent number of kills. He's going to stop the turrets from finishing. Looks like, oh no, it's not actually finishing. There were four SCVs standing around this turret, and they were not actually building it. Oh my god. Those SCVs were like real construction workers, man. You know those construction workers where there's like five guys there and four of them are, are drinking coffee and the other guy's just like, he's doing something you kind of useful, but not really. Those SCVs replicating real life. Um, the one depot at the top is gonna get taken down. I have no idea why this depot is here, by the way. Cause it, it wasn't like providing a wall. It wasn't doing anything useful except dying. Well, I guess dying isn't useful, so that it just wasn't doing anything useful. Uh, this plus one flyer attack going down. And... Looks like uh, Goliath range is being upgraded. He does repair the second factory. But he's losing a lot of Goliaths here. Uh, looks like Oxer actually being super aggressive with these mutas. He's just flying into the turrets. He doesn't care. And he is going to get all the Goliaths. He's going to take a lot of turret shots, so I don't know if that was worth it. But so many mutas going in. Oxer might actually be all in. He might be going for a muta all in here. I think that's what he's doing. I'm pretty sure he's all in. He's just only making mutas now. He's got so few drones. Uh, he did go for the flyer attack, so... I think this is actually just a 2 hatch muta all in. And I don't know, I don't know if Kasha can defend this. Got not many SCVs at the natural, so few SCVs at the main as well. He's actually going to lose a factory. That is not a common sight. I mean, factories have quite a bit of HP. Amidas did not do insane amounts of damage. But that factory is actually going to go down. I think that's actually going to burn down, to be honest. Uh, one more Goliath getting taken out. And looks like Goliath range still not quite finished. The factory does go down. There's only one Goliath on the field. And that's going to go down. There's no Goliaths left to defend. The second factory is going to go down. And Kasha's is going to have no more production. He actually can't make units to defend himself anymore. Wow, Oxerg is going for the kill here. Very impressive. Now, <laughs> Goliath range finishes just before the factory dies, but he's got one Goliath. He can just, like, only make turrets now. He's got no SCVs either. He's making a star for it. I think he's just going to make Valkyries. He's like, ah... Oh. Ah, uh, I can't make stuff. Okay, let's make Valkyries. But he's uh, he's dead now. The Lings are coming in. He's busted down the front. Uh, the Lings and Mutas will take everything out. I mean, he's got nothing to defend Lings. He's got one Goliath that can shoot ground. That's like his only anti-ground unit. He's lifted his command center. Um, doesn't want to lose this one. But I don't think he can do anything. Kashu. I mean, okay, so here's here's what's going on here. Kashu is the comeback kid, but actually, if you come back in this situation, 
that's you're like you're it's not you're not even playing StarCraft anymore, you're just being insane. Uh but there's the GG. So Ox are gonna even up the score two to two. A nice, even uh intense clam war so far. I'm I'm loving it. LRM versus SAS noobs. Stellar teams, stellar players, and an even match. I hope to god it goes to an ace match. That would be so exciting. Uh, and by the way, if you're not sure, if you don't know the format of the, the Gambit Cup Finals, it's basically like a, a best of three clam wars almost. Uh, there's going to be two clam wars, one today, obviously, and then one on Sunday. Um, and if, obviously, if one of the teams takes both clam wars, then they'll win, uh, then they'll win the whole thing. If it's, if it ends up being 1-1 on, um, on Sunday, after the Sunday Clam War, then it'll go to an ace match between the ace player of both teams. So each team will send out uh, one player, and they will play a best of three to uh, to be the tiebreaker. So hopefully it goes to that. But anyway, let's move on to the next game. Let me change the score, two to two, and I will get the next replay. In the meantime, enjoy this commercial, and turn off your ad block where you're killing esports. Okay. Bum bum bum. I think it's gonna be Terra versus somebody. Uh, 